Friday yet? It, it is. is T Friday. G I F everyone. You made We've it. We've had a long week. <laughs> uh, we thank you for joining us here on the Pix 11 Morning News. I'm John Muller. Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm Vanessa Freeman. Let's start you off with a check of our weather and traffic with Marissa Torres. Marissa, good morning. Good morning. The moment we've been waiting for yes. since Monday <laughs> at 2 a.m., right? Uh, we are going to be very close to the weekend very shortly. Uh, we're launching this Friday, though. In Chile, still north and west. I mean, look at Montgomery, 48 degrees, where you definitely need a light jacket or at least that heat on in the car. White Plains at 56, but look at the temperature spread right now. Where it is Juneteenth, the day that commemorates when the last slaves in the United States found out they were free. A jam-packed weekend to look forward to with sports and music coming back to life in New York. Yankee Stadium and Madison Square Garden, each hosting fans at full capacity. It's all possible thanks to the vaccination level in the, in the state topping 70% this week. Pix 11's Anthony DiLorenzo is live outside Yankee Stadium with the very, very good news. Anthony, it finally feels official. Good morning. Yeah, it seems like every week something new is happening. Jam-packed weekend to look forward to with sports and music coming back to life. Yankee Stadium. Stadium with the very, very good news. Anthony, it finally feels official. Good morning. Yeah, it seems like every week something new is happening. Much. This is a general overview for the area. Less than a quarter of an inch for some. But if you see those thunderstorms pop up, you could see some higher amounts there. Mountain calves, because if you can escape to the Poconos, the Catskills, the Berkshires, get out for a hike Saturday. A little bit cooler, but just go back and just grab a sweater. Yeah, you're going to need it, especially if you're near the shore. Ice, They're almost like heavy coat kind of weather. Same deal in Andover. But you know what? As the day progresses, it's going to warm up a bit. It's going to be nice and comfortable. Current wind speeds quite calm, mainly out of the northwest for the most part, but you can already see things shifting gears a bit at times. Again, so two minutes, three minutes now after the top of the hour, New York State Thruway, this is southbound right near exit 15. Uh, well, you Friday morning with an update on the roads below. Hey there, Tom. Real quickly at your lower East River crossing. So coming up the Gowanus through the BQE with an update. Hey there, Tom. Southeast across the Gulf states, and we are already very well saturated right now. 35 mile an hour sustained winds. It's going to continue on this northeastward trajectory. In terms of making it here, we'll get a little bit of moisture, but it won't really be from this. This will stay south. Maintenance in Newark. Meet police officers in their community. It's all part of a launch event to hopefully bridge the gap between law enforcement and the city's youth. Andrew Ramos has made it. And the same rings true for Sun. Looking at a better chance of scoring that 90. I know I have. Four, by, four yeses in, in my column. There you go, there you go. Um, so from After our President Biden signed legislation, making the day a federal holiday. PIX11 is a proud sponsor of this three-day summit, and this morning's kickoff starts virtually, but an in-person event wraps up the weekend in Restoration Plaza, and that is where we find PIX11's James Ford with us live this morning. You got a preview. Good morning, James. Yes, you find me live here in Restoration Plaza. There's a lot on tap. Yes, there is. So <laughs> if yeah. this music doesn't say Friday, I don't know what does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> go to bed. By the way, we're looking at, we're back to close on this side. I know. We're so, oh, that's what this is because we're so close to each oh, other. Oh, thank you. That's uh, what it is. Thank you. Yeah, hey, everybody. It's Friday. Yes, we're so oh, excited gosh. that it's Friday. We've lost June our darn 18th. minds. We've really lost our marbles. Thanks for being with us here on the Peace of Love Morning News. I'm Betty Wynn. I'm Dan Manorino. Let's bring in. Short time. It's taking place just one day after President Biden signed legislation making the day a federal holiday. Pix Love is a proud sponsor of the three day summit. This morning, kickoff starts virtually, but an in person event wraps up this weekend in restoration. Now, you can online. do online. And so, it's just simple things like get updating your license, people think they have to go in person. Well, see, I went in person because, yes, I could update it online, which I ended up doing because I saw the lines were way too long once I got there. But you can't get that star, right. you know, which you need in the order true to travel. The true ID, the real ID. Yeah, yeah. the real ID, uh, unless you go in person, unless they've changed it since, you know, I tried to. But do updating online. registration, license All that plate, stuff's super simple. All of online. it's online now, which people mm -hmm. don't really realize. But some um, people just don't have that kind of access, right? That's yeah. another issue, right? Yeah. Accessibility. Uh, but yeah, and, and I'm glad that 
eagle-eyed. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys very much. Um, and I'm not that bad, really. I know. Uh, I do whisper, though. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, 1023, a theater group looking to make a big difference. Video for me. I tell you what. You, you have so many projects in the works. So many. Right? Can't keep up. I know. Um, I need an assistant at this point. And you actually have a Father's Day shout-out to share to the father figure in your life. Oh, yes, I do. Because my father...